Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today we're going to talk about your mindset. And really this all started when I came across a post on Reddit, which was entitled expectation versus reality. And this photo, I think really sums the whole thing up because we've all felt this way, right? You set out to make something and you try your best. And what you end up with is totally not even comparable. It's so much worse and you feel bad about it. And especially when you're starting out, but really for any level, it's this attitude that can be toxic to your progress as an artist. Because it's reasonable to see this result and say, well, what's the point? Why, why am I working hard? This is not worth it. But what I'd argue is what you need to change is the expectation. It's good to have goals. You start with some skill set, and that's here. And that includes your ability to draw and paint and render but maybe what you want to do is outside of that skill set. And in order to get there, you're going to need to try some experiments and you need to work outside of your comfort zone enough times over and over that eventually you build up your skill set to be bigger. And then as that skill set expands and expands over time, eventually you'll be able to accomplish that goal that you set out to do. But a goal is different than an expectation. My expectation when I sit down to work is that I'm going to work. That's it. My expectation looks like this. It looks like Photoshop. And when those two things match, when I sit down with one expectation and then accomplish that expectation, it just feels good. And you know what? When things feel good, you do more of them. If I have a realistic expectation for the day and then I accomplish that expectation, I don't need someone else to tell me I'm doing a good job. I'm just happy that I've met my current day's expectation. And that's great. So I'll probably want to do the same thing tomorrow. But if I finish the day and my expectation does not match the reality, I'm going to feel really bad. And if I feel really bad, well, I probably don't want to go feel bad again tomorrow. What's the point in that? So then I might tell myself, well, maybe drawing's not for me. Because look, guys, it's impossible to know what rate at which you're going to improve. So it's unrealistic to have a expectation that you're going to be this much better next week. Just don't do it. Instead, consider changing your expectation to be the challenges. Your expectation is gonna be, I'm gonna work outside my comfort zone in this specific way. Maybe it's rendering. And so then you're gonna do some studies and some practices, maybe a master study, and slowly build up your skill set. Now, all the while, you've got a bigger goal, something you're shooting towards, and of course, that's great. You have to have one of those. But at a day-to-day -day level, don't beat yourself up for not achieving that goal. The goal is always going to be outside of your comfort zone. In fact, when you get close to achieving a goal, you're probably going to have a new goal that's even further away. And that's just your life. You are an artist. You're going to be getting better all the time. And you're going to be beating yourself up over it. But that'll never happen if at a day-to-day -day level, your expectation is to achieve something that you've never done before and then get mad at yourself when it doesn't work. So go ahead, have that huge lofty goal. You need it. But incrementally, break it up into smaller, manageable little chunks and set reasonable expectations. You're going to have a lot more fun drawing if you do. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.